Hello friends, Kisan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this is the second part of uh, my previous video there we had uh, started discussing about mapping request parameters to the handler uh, method in Spring framework. Right, so this is the project which I had created in my previous video tutorial but uh, still there are some coding as well as some refactoring part is pending. So let's continue with this wherever I had left. So in previous video tutorial we had created this controller. Uh, we had created deployment descriptor there. We have register, register dispatcher subnet as a controller. We had created two JSP. Uh, first register dot JSP. From there we are taking some input like user name, email, age, country, right? And we have a register button. When user clicks on the register button, then you can see the URL pattern, right? Action. So select slash register success there uh, there is a method in controller which is having a url pattern slash register success with post uh, method will be called when user clicks on the register button so this is the request handler method which this is going to be called right and when user runs the first time uh, this project then we are just uh, trying to forward this register dot jsp to the client so that the user can fill this registration form. So here we'll have to provide the logical name of the view that is nothing but the register slash register sorry. Right, register. This is a logical view. Right. And now when user clicks over here, then what? we want we want to create a one anchor tag so the anchor tag and here i want to create a back button so that when the user clicks on the back button then again user has to move on the register or jsp so here hyperlink reference i'm going to specify uh, project name itself so that this will again redirect to the register or jsp right so slash register so our this controller method is mapped with the slash register and with the get method so when the user clicks on this back button then again user will move to the register.jsp so let's say back so i'm not very much concerned about the ui design and all so that is pretty easy to learn here my main intention is to show you the how controller and rest of the things are working from java side so almost we have done let's run this project now <laughs> sorry <clears throat> now here is the uh, uh, we got the view uh, that is nothing but registered.jsp let's type the name like shown uh, and the email address shown dot c is at the rate yahoo.com and is i'm going to specify 30 and country i'm selecting us and if you click on the register button then user is basically navigate on the uh, register success.jsp and saying that you have successfully registered with the following info and these are the information about the uh, user which is being entered on the first page in real scenario here basically when we when user fills this form and clicks on the register button then basically request goes to the uh, request handler method which is having the url pattern slash register success and with the post method so you look into the controller so this is the method where we are just collecting every attribute right every request parameter using at the rate request from right and these parameter just we are uh, setting the user object by calling constructor and this user object basically uh, we are adding in this uh, we have created a model view object there we are passing the logical view name that is register success so that will become the register success or jsp and here just we are adding this object as a this key this is would be the key and this is the object so on register success dot jsp we can make uh, use of this key so from user dot directly we can access uh, its attribute right it's variable like user dot uh, name user dot age user dot email and user dot 
country on the register success dot jsp using jsp special language that i have done so now when the user clicks on the back button then the user again navigating to the register dot jsp pretty straightforward so basically when we just we are sending request from the uh, view to controller and just from controller uh, uh, to the some register success dot jsp when in real scenario we will have a uh, some data validation things right so before i mean sending this data to the uh, some somewhere in the database storing into the database you need to uh, validate this data so those things we'll see in the future tutorial so we'll have a sub register and doll layer right so those two layers are missing over here so this is the uh, learning process process in incremental order in future video tutorial we'll, see, we'll have an end-to-end -end layer so here my intention is to show you the how we can make use the request param so when we talk about the request param so basically but here in this video tutorial just we are trying to explore how to map request parameter to the handler method so this is the one of the cool feature of the spring mbc is that you can retrieve request parameter as regular parameters of the handler method by using the at the rate request param annotation uh, this is a good way to decouple the controller from the http server request interface of the subred api so in this example uh, you can see uh, we are just collecting this parameter right a spring binds the method parameter uh, to the http request parameter with the same name so here we are using the name which we have uh, given the name in the jsp right so we will have to make this name so here if you look into the uh, in all request param in bracket whatever name you have given that should match from our jsp uh, param name right that should match uh, and this name you can give anything whatever you want you can keep here i have given the same but this name this is the just local variable name you can but if you don't want to put this name in the bracket then you will have to give the this name and this name must be same right so this is also this will also bind the name with this name field right so these things you will have to keep in mind now type conversion is also done automatically right so for example from ui age is coming in the string but automatically that converts into the integer so these things you will have to keep in mind uh, now in case uh, uh, in case the parameter name is different than the variable name you, you can specify like uh, like here you have a name but if, if you would like to give the here user name that also you can do like uh, you can do the user uh, sorry user name and this is going to work perfectly fine sorry that should be the user name right but this should match from the our jsp page so here we'll have to say user name and this is going to work as absolutely fine but if you do not specify in the bracket then here you will have to give the name itself uh, the request param annotation also has additional two attributes which might be useful in some cases the required attribute specifies whether the parameter is mandatory or not like here uh, you have a lot of attributes so here you can you can have a what i can do let's make another copy of this method i'm going to this comment out and uh, let's make another copy and here uh, like uh, you have an email in email section you can write name equal to something and before that comma and you have a required attribute right so required attribute by default is true you can make it false sorry so here if user does not send the value for email then that is also acceptable right so this is the one of the things you can you should keep in mind that means the parameter email is optional hence uh, can be missing from the request uh, in this example uh, the variable email will be null if there is no such parameter present in the request another attribute is default value which can be used as a fallback value when the request parameter is empty like uh, uh, here you can you can also apply like default value right you have a name and uh, suppose you can write like name equal to something and uh, here 
uh, sorry age is equal to uh, uh, name equal to age and here if you would like to specify some default value then default value you can specify like if user does not specify the is then you can specify the default value as 80 so these things i'm going to undo you can try yourself right so that that that, that, that are the things i wanted to explore in this video tutorial i hope uh, we are pretty much covered in the uh, at the rate request mapping sorry at the rate uh, request param uh, annotations right let me after doing this modification uh, let me run this program again and make sure that whatever changes we have done that's working perfectly fine now email we have made optional so at this time i'm not going to enter email so here i'm going to uh, enter name martin email i'm not going to enter age i'm going to enter 40 and country is us let's click on so email there is no email because i we have made optional and if user wants to submit his email id that is also fine and if user clicks over here so email is successfully submitted right so that's all i have to share in this video tutorial in next video tutorial i'm going to show you uh, I, I almost I'm going to refactor this uh, this same project and there I'm gonna show you so here you can see we have used request parameter to collect every parameter which is coming from the view uh, from register page but uh, here we have chance to use uh, request parameter as a map so that this uh, you can see the signature of the method is going to keep growing right so if you add some more parameters the UI then this signature is going uh, keep growing right so here instead of using uh, instead of collecting every uh, parameter uh, individually we can make use of the map map of request param so that we'll see in the next video tutorial so this code i'm going to upload the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself i hope you enjoyed learning this video if you have any queries or question then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.